Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about books and whether they're worth the hype or not. So I've got five books here that are talked about a lot here on BookTube. And so I want to talk and discuss them with you and let you know whether I thought they were worth the hype or not. So again, this is one of those videos where it is just my opinion. I feel like I need to get out there and share that. I will tell you that all of the books I'm going to talk about today, except for one, are not them. Generally, they were books that just had a lot of hype surrounding it, so I think everybody goes in with different expectations, so I just wanted to talk about some of those books today. And so let's just dig right in here. The first book is Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Now this book is not a bad book per se. It is just not what I expected it to be. I expected it to be a high fantasy with, you know, high fantasy writing. And for me, this was a little more modern and contemporary in its writing. And so it drew me out of the story. I talked about this a little bit in my last video. I'll link that for you so that you can check that out. But I feel like this book is very overhyped here on BookTube. Like I say, it's not a bad book per se. I just think the hype surrounding it is way more than there should be. It's not a bad book. Like I said, it's like a three and a half star book for me. But it, you know, it's not meh. It's better than meh. But it's not mind-blowing best book ever kind of thing. Okay, the next one is the bad book on this list, and that is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Once this actually came out, a lot of people have kind of similar feelings to me that it shouldn't have been classified as fantasy and all of these different things. You could call something a standalone fantasy, there are expectations. It's way underdeveloped in its story. The storyline is blah. The characters are blah. I gave this book a two stars. Like, it originally started out as a three, and it just kept going down and down and down. And it's just, there's no saving this book other than it's pretty. The next book that you've seen floating around booktube a lot just because it's pretty is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. Now, for me, the story within this beautiful cover was just as beautiful. This was a five out of five star book for me. I think the hype surrounding this book is genuine. I th really believe everybody should read this. This explores family relationships and definitions of love, and it is a fantastic book. One of my favorite books of 2015. So if you have not read The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, you are missing out, my friends. Go and read it. Go pick it up. Go check it out from your library. Just go buy it. I mean, I plan on rereading this again soon because I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to learn more from it. The next book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Now, I feel this book is overhyped. It's not a bad book. I do feel like it's a ripoff of Harry Potter, and I couldn't let go of that, so this was a four out of five star book for me. Now, the characters are not Harry Potter characters per se. I think the characters are unique in their own, and I will give Rainbow Rowell credit for that. But, you know, the world and the storyline, completely full of tropes, totally ripped off Harry Potter. For me, it was overhyped, and it's a four out of five star book for me, um, so it wasn't a bad book, it's just the hype around it is way, way too much for my brain. And last but not least is one of the most recently hyped books, and that is Passenger by Alan Z Alexandra Bracken. I just finished that this this week, so this is fresh on my mind, and I do feel like this book is being overhyped. It is a beautiful book, I will give it that. It is gorgeous. And the story within it is pretty intriguing. It is all about time travel and pirates are, are involved. And it's, again, it's kind of family storylines. Hold on a second. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. So the characters are fairly well developed in this book. The storyline's pretty okay. I think it ends in a really bad place for me personally. Um, again, this is a four out of five star book for me. And so I do think it is overhyped. I mean, it's a good book, and I enjoyed it. You know, it, a lot of these YA ones are ending up being way overhyped here on BookTube. So if you're interested in time travel or pirates, you'll probably enjoy the story. Outside of that, you probably won't like it. Unless you, you know, Alexander Bracken's writing is fine. It's not mind-blowing or earth-shattering. Then again, I'm jaded. Brandon Sanderson, people. Brandon Sanderson. Anyway, so this was a 4 out of 5 star book for me. So of the five books I showed you, I feel like four of them were overhyped or over-talked about here in the booktube community. Um, I feel like 
everybody's talking about the same books. I want everybody to diversify what they're talking about. What I did recently actually is I went through my subscriptions and I actually unsubscribed to some of the feeds that I was getting. I felt like they were only talking about the same books that seven other people that I follow are talking about. I'm trying to diversify what I'm reading so I'm di diversifying who I'm watching for the same reasons. And you know, when it comes to like the major booktubers who get lots of sponsored videos, I'm subscribed to a few of them because I like to know what, you know, was kind of being hyped and all those kind of things so that I can be aware of what's going on within the entire community. But for the most part, I'm trying to diversify what I'm reading. I read some of these just to know whether they there was too much hype around them or not. And I really believe that most of them are being overhyped. I, I feel like I don't know. There was a video I watched um, a while back that suggested that people on booktube are being really shallow and I don't think that's really the case. It's just a lot of them are a lot of people on booktube are about the same age and I think depending on your age bracket is depending on what you're reading and so that affects who you're watching and who's popular and a lot of the booktube community is geared towards that YA genre of books. And so I think that, I don't think that we're necessarily being shallow. It's that, you know, people have opportunities on this platform to share books that aren't being talked about by a lot of other people. And so I really think it's important for us all to diversify and widen what we'd read. And if watching the books that are getting a lot of hype helps you do that, great. Kudos to you. And if you feel like you're seeing the same books on everybody's channels, Go find some new channels. Um, if you're interested in seeing booktubers I would recommend, then let me know down below and I will let you guys know who I follow and who I watch and who I really enjoy their their reviews and their opinions of things. Anyways, that's a little bit of a ramble here at the end of this video, but again, f I really think, you know, four out of those five books, there's way more hype surrounding it or there was way too much talk surrounding it here in the community than there should have been, so. Anyways, that's just my opinion, and again, I'm going to sign off here. Have a great day. Bye.